So, got stuck a little bit out in Tooele today, so decided to come up here and see the ghost town of Ophir, Utah. So you're driving and it's just like in the middle of nowhere. By the way, there are no, ooh, mine tracks. By the way, there are is no reception at all. So you are on your own when you get up here. Welcome to Ophir. And here we are, the old town of Ophir, Utah. City Hall, a telephone booth, what? A cute little display representing kind of what was Merker, Utah, which is way up over there, which doesn't exist anymore. And this is supposed to represent the Merker, oh, chipmunk and lizard, huh. This is supposed to represent the old mine of Merker. This is Minion Mike, the mayor of Merker. Merker Matt, the town dynamite guy who has been stuck up there for probably about 20 years. And the Merker Mine. Let's go in. Whoa! The little Ala Mine, which has a giant spider. And, ooh, beware. And... This is actually super cute. The people in Ophir have a really good sense of humor. So this is the only hotel in Ophir. Stand up and sleep hotel. And that's the cell. Oh, they tricked me. It's only one door. It's not really a porter. Then just for posterity, I have to check and see if the phone booth actually still works. Here we go. Ooh, bugs. I'm pretty sure that's a good sign because it doesn't open. And let's see. Nope. Nope. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. But uh, it looks like it still worked for a while. And look, there's even a ringer in there. So, oh my gosh. This is the same phone from uh, Bill and Ted. Party on. Welcome to the historic town of dun 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 Ofer, Utah. Ofer, Utah. I found this out. Ophir is actually the name of King Solomon's mine in the Bible. So when many people discovered gold, silver, or whatever, one of the first things that they did is they admitted Ophir so it would bring him good luck. This was discovered by the soldiers that were over here in 1860 that were watching the Mormons. So there was like 5,000 soldiers that were right around here that were watching to see kind of if the Mormons stayed cool. Okay, so the what was found here was silver because up behind me right here, if you look, this is part of the old river, um, old Lake Bonneville area. But up here was a volcano. So the volcano pushed the rocks up and created like some of this like red area right there, which I guess means silver. So they found silver here. There's no internet anywhere up here. So that is Dave's house. Dave who came out and showed me all around the area. So this is the first mine cart that was here in Utah. Dun, dun, dun. This is the St. John and Ophir Railroad. They actually built this railroad to just come to this little area right here. By the way, this is only about like 15 minutes away out of Tooele, and it's almost like a whole different world out here. They have a really good sense of humor. So there's the miners where their bathroom is, and there's the mine boss who poops, I mean, who gets the higher bunk. Here is a cart that was on the Ophir Railroad. They even have this old sharpener that still works. I did my nails on it because now I'm 1890 manicurist. There's 20 people that live up here in the different houses and they all came out to say hello. More sense of humor, the miners and the muckers. No idea what a mucker is, but at least the miners are going to the bathroom. The muckers aren't. This is the house where the miners used to live, but it was only for, dun dun dun, the bachelors. So 
The first original Utah Bachelor might have been in here. There's the inside of their house. I'm like being super creepy. Oh, look, Long John's. This place is super cute. They have this whole little village that's right here. Nobody's here, by the way. And just FYI, there's a lot of snakes. And if you notice, let's see if I can get it to move. There he is. Ah, little lizards. Their first post office. And one of the biggest, uh, even after the silver was gone, one of the biggest things here in Ophir was their boot and shoe repair. Another mine opened up. Let me see. There it is. Um, it's an elk or that's an elk. I don't, or a kangaroo. Original ore car from the mine. Okay. So a really, really cool thing about this place is that it was next to a city called Merker. Now Ofer, so first there was Yosepa, which is a Mormon Hawaiian settlement that was, it's way over those mountains. Then they discovered silver here. So silver in Ofer. Then way over there, they found more silver in a place called Merker. And one of the cool things about Merker is that the first uh, electric light that came across the Mississippi was in Merker. There was about 10,000 people that lived in Merker uh, at the heyday. They had the first steam engine, they had the first electrical mine, and then they ran out of silver and they left the area. There's a little bit of a walk. There's the city down below. And you had to walk up the hill to go to school. And there's the lizards that are everywhere. A little picnic area when you get here. The entrance to the town of Ophir with its minecart collection that was used in the town of Merker because of, oh, they were telling me that a lot of this stuff is of Merker because it's so fancy and modern. So they didn't have the fancy modern stuff back in the early 1900s. And I guess it's all powered by this magical caboose that looks so real. I don't know how, I mean, it's, it feels like wood. So I'm not too sure how this whole thing was able to carry stuff up and down, but hey, who's to argue with old science? There's the chute that loaded out into the train tracks. Uh, earlier, I did see people because you can see a mine cart path that's up there that connects up onto this top ridge. And I saw people walking up on it and the people in town said, oh yeah, you can get up there. But then actually these people who own the property saw that I was coming, so I stopped. Steam powered hammers. The boiler engine, the machine that pulled the carts and it looks like it towed it. Uh, Dun, dun. There are a lot of campgrounds that are up in the area and in Ophir, when you camp, it's nothing for the weak of heart. It's extreme! That's kind of cool. This sign never changes. It says beware and it is 2020 so I gotta kind of watch that. Oh wait a minute. I can do it. I got a mask. Hold on. <laughs> beware of nothing!